I just like how I get stabbed so quickly. Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. Oh, my subtitles are tumbled. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this. Hold up. <laughs> I just noticed, I'm like, for some reason, the subtitles are off now. I would love subtitles. And also, this is extremely low. All right, cool beans. Let's go. sits before you tonight does not refuse permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. It's a big, big claymore. So I'm just gonna smoke my cigarette here. Of the ill begotten progeny. With our desire, most hey, I hope you enjoy this game. I hope so too. I, I know I like vampires, so. Most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! All of them are getting mad. He's like, um, bruh. This is a cold classic. I've heard that. Let me finish. I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same of rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Or good night. Just kidding. <laughs> Excuse me. Did I supposed to move? Oh, they crashed. No. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, never mind. I was about to have a heart attack. I was like, bro. <laughs> Your sire. Tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering... What if I don't have bad behavior? But the opportunity... To transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Deuces. Let's see, left click to continue. W I C D is the moves used Z to switch between first and third per Oh, so I can go into third person. This does not look like first or third person. Oh, there we go. Just kidding. I guess I was just in a dark hallway.
Appreciate it. Oh. Bender the Vampire. Okay, I can use the help. I don't have much time. Just give me the basics. I don't need anyone's help. I'm out of here. I'll, I've never played this, so I would kind of like some help. No. I love popping. Wait. Never mind, I'd better not finish that sentence. I was just literally thinking of cherries. What I do, I, I just assume you just take a bite. <laughs> so what do I mean, I uh... I don't know if y'all play any other vampire-ish, like, games. Bender, bloody, brew, bees. Um. I like Vampire. Vampire was pretty cool, but it got pretty intense. Um. Like, no matter even if you leveled up a lot, like, the other vampires were always stronger than you. But I heard they were gonna make a Vampire too, so that'd be kind of neat. And that was the main thing I liked about Vampire was building up the relationship, so it was kind of interesting. Won't he become a vampire then? Is it he has to drink my blood? Do I have to be a pure blood? Oh no, there's so many different. I, this is your blood pool. Blood is the fuel for your vampiric powers or disciplines. When your blood pool is low, you need to refill it. Humans are an abundant source of blood in most areas of the game. One is in the alley around the corner. <laughs> I'll just punch. All right, time to go around the corner. Feeding on humans fills your blood pool. I feel like Venom. <laughs> I know when you played Venom, you had to heal. Um, let's see. It is important that humans do not see you feed on other humans. Once you have begun feeding on your victim, you will see this bar appear. This represents your victim's blood pool. You should stop feeding before emptying his blood pool and killing him. Press F again to stop feeding. Hey, buddy. Yeah, me. Oh, hold up. Feed attempt fell. Hold up. Oh, this does remind me of Blood Rain. It's like the same animation. I want to drain him pretty good, so... Where? He's probably... Ugh. I don't know what just happened. I did it. Animation's pretty good though. Then again, I have a patch on it, so maybe that's why it looks. I was like, this game looks really good, and I was like, wait, I had to download a patch and stuff to even play this game, so this is probably why it looks really nice. Like, I got the most up to date one because it said like to go ahead and get the most up to date. Uh, great, when do I get my cape? Do I get to pick the color? I don't know how I feel about it, but it does feel good. You said you don't know how to feel about it, but it feels good. All right. <laughs> when do I get my cape? Like what? I feel 
like doing a nose patch is the way to go. Let's see. I feel like doing a nos Nosferatu run would be difficult. Because, like, I'm, like, I remember before I even started playing the game, because I was like, oh, I'm going to look up the clans and stuff like that. And I, that's why I did the test, because I was like, I don't even know what clan I want to do. I just knew I didn't want to do Nosferatu. But I was like, that sounds really difficult. And, um, like, I think you have to hide in the sewers constantly, because you're like, you're so hideous. Anywho. Same. Got it. Okay, or cooler in the tabletop, you could be a giant mosquito with functional wings. Uh, that sounds gross, but cool at the same time. Let's see. At the bottom of your screen is the use icon. This icon appears when you are able to use the object in front of you. Press the use E key to use the object that indicates the use icon is context sensitive. That is, it will look different depending on the object you can use. In this case, a door that can't be opened. Okay, cool, cool. You get inside here, upstairs. Let's see, jump onto the boxes against the wall up to the walkway above. Okay. Eh. I'm, I think I'm hitting space. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. Lock pick. Your features are combinations of your various abilities and attributes. The higher features the scores, the better you are at activities they influence. Sweet. Let's see. Eh. Oh, whoops. I hit a button. Can I, like, not? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to just hit E. I think I turned on my hypnosis on accident. What's the Prince of Prince of- I'm gonna assume Prince of Darkness. God, I wish I was a vampire. I'm gonna doze off to the stream. Maybe I'll dream of being one. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but yeah, sometimes I wish I was a vampire. Actually, there's been times I've wished to be a vampire a lot. Because I always thought vampires are so cool. I mean, I stay up all night too anyway, so... What kind of vampire twilight or Nosferatu? Well, I wouldn't want to look like a Nosferatu, but I wouldn't like. Are you talking about the Twilight movies? <laughs> There's an official book that adds in Twilight powers. <laughs> Dumb frenzied sabbat bastards. Because right. that's case that I don't really like the Twilight I'll movies. Stay. Actually, I haven't really even seen them properly. I think I've only seen the first one, and I didn't really pay attention. I got really hella bored. Of course, I saw that like when I was almost done with college, because I was just like, eh, one of my friends really loves it, so I'll give it a shot. Nah, I haven't seen the others. There's a few shows that I liked, though. Um, I used to read some of the older... I mean, hell, I like classic Dracula. I think classic Dracula is pretty cool. Honestly, his, uh, it's what I did with her, like, um, I went to go see that newish, well, it's not even new now, 
God, what was that movie called? It was like a newer Dracula movie. I can't remember it, but it was really cool. I liked it. I, I don't know if it did that well, but I personally really liked it. I thought it was neat. And then there was this other show that I liked called, I think, Moonrise. And it was about this dude that was a detective and he was a vampire. And I thought that, or Moonlight. That's what it was called, Moonlight, my bad. I liked it though. I thought that was pretty cool. No, no, I'll just be the decision maker. All the analysis and day-to-day -day governing will be done by my underlings. Control the work. How much work that would take. Um, you know, if you have super abilities, it probably wouldn't take too long. Quest log contains information about your quests as well as any... Uh, I know one thing that I guess if I wish that I was a vampire, I would totally, like probably do all kinds of different occup occupations and then try to learn every single language that I could if I had like all the time in the world. It's just I feel like you changing your identity and stuff like that that would get annoying over time. I don't see if I got legal to see this. It represents time needed to pick lock and value. Um, sweet, I did it. Oops. Is that alcohol? Not how to handle myself at my moments. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great. Congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and beat your chest and you'll get your respect. Let's see. Wait, I've got the list of people from high school. Why not? Mosquito. I was like, bro. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the gorilla gorilla, the assholes that put your sire to death, that's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. So they're like, vampire good guy I'm just gonna say I see I don't think they're really good guys I guess you seem more like an asshole to me I guess I'll find it. Let's see an area indicator. The icon to the left indicates that you're in combat area. Combat anything goes. Masquerade, respect the masquerade. Elysium, vampire neutral ground. No combat or disciplines are allowed. Oh, okay. I get you, I think. The masquerade areas breaking the masquerade can carry dire consequences such as unwanted attention of vampire hunters after five masquerade violations your game is over oh so the game just ends okay because they're like they're saying like oh if you get five masquerade stuff just bad stuff happens and i was like oh you mean psh, people are gonna help me but if it ends the game that's gonna suck your current number of violations is displayed in the upper right corner of your character sheet die my darling I mean, I guess that could be like a speed runway if you wanted to end the game quickly and be like, all right, let's see how many violations I can do. And you can read a no. Um, okay, okay. 
password is chop shop oh that's easy to remember i mean you can use a computer you see this icon computers are often helpful in solving quests they can hold information like emails and files as well as Control various electronic. Each computer will have a list of the menus and commands you can use. Many menus and commands will be password protected. Hacking a combination of wits and computer is a feature that allows you to hack into password. You'll be prompted to press Control C to attempt your hacking feature. The value of your hacking feature is equal or greater than the difficulty. You can be successful. Sweet. Uh, chop, chop. Check the list to get the available commands. Oh, whoops, that was invalid. Um, type menu or home command, let's say home menu. Let me do safe. Password is required, okay. Um, press enter to continue. My mom still has a computer like this. Uh, unlock. Safe door is unlocked. I guess I'll escape. Oh, it's October. That's cool. <laughs> what year in October? It doesn't really say the year, I guess. When you pressure continue, you'll see this press E. If it is locked, you can try to once inside. Well, I think I just said to unlock it. Key to stairwell at the back of the chop shop. I'll just take it. I found it. Gotcha. Let's see. Press one key to access your inventory. Okay, cool. Cool beans. I'm hitting one. It's not letting me access my inventory. Inventory. Can I hit I? Oh, well, I is my inventory, not one. I'm gonna exit. Okay, cool, cool. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Oops. There we go. Damn, he just slit his throat. And he burned. Can I have a gun? You've been wounded by the sabbat? How? Someone hit me? <laughs> you sustain regular damage, you'll turn black. Your health is completely you suffer final death, and your game is over. Your health regenerates over time. When you're feeding, your health regenerates much faster. If your health bar begins to turn yellow, it means you have sustained ag aggravated damage. Like fire and supernatural attacks cause aggravated damage. This takes much longer to heal than regular damage. Ah, oh, but I wanted that gun. Ooh, look at this old tele the bad telephone. I cannot talk. Let's see, what's the Franz Blood's blood, right? He's like, I like my doctors. <laughs> He's like, doctors are the healthiest way to go. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill me. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. Let's say I get a little overzealous. What happens then? An innocent's an innocent. If you kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, that's going to cost you a piece of your own humanity. The beast. I'm tired of this sermon. I'm gonna go down to get a drink. It's always there, waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal waiting to 
I can't kill anyone. That seems a little uh, restricting. I, I, I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain them, skin them, and bash them into skulls. Self preservation is a vital part of humanity after all. But it's hard to back. <laughs> I'm jealous of how like his fangs look. I'm like, dang, he has like really cool. I wish I could see like if my teeth look cool like that. Okay. I remember you want to avoid draining your victim and straining it. Innocent humans will give you a penalty to your the lower you the closer you get to the beast. If your mini gets too low, you'll begin to lose control of your character. This is known as frenzying and may result in a masquerade violation if you are around humans. <laughs> what? Here, I'll I'll not put you out of your misery, but let's... he's not draining that quickly. He made it sound like he was gonna drain really, really fast. Worse than a bum's neck. That scarf tasted like old gym socks. I think I still got some threads between my teeth. I'll think about it. I know when I uh, played Vampire, I fed on rats because, well, that game, I don't know about this game. I assume there's multiple maybe endings in this game, but in that game, you could have a pacifist, you know, have multiple endings and it depends on how much blood you drink. So if you want the best ending, you can't ever drink. So, and well, unfortunately blood is like the best way you can heal or get levels, but it's difficult to do, but anywho. But I, I mainly fed on rats. Killing rats has no impact on your humanity score. Humans do not react well when they see live rats being sucked on. That makes sense. Rats can be fed upon to gain a single blood point. You'll find some rats at the other end of the alley near the yellow windows. Killing rats has no impact on your humanity. Humans do not react well. Oops. I didn't actually mean to punch you. It was accident. I didn't really go. Feel oh, bad. I didn't mean to punch him. Fun fact: there are were rats in the setting. Oh, that's pretty cool. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more shout range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Sneak where? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows and don't let him see you. That sucks. I might want to drink the blood from them. Do my best. See you in a minute. Alright, go. Cool. Let's see, sneaking. So, control. Meter to the left indicates the proximity of your enemies and their distance of attacking. If they are looking your way, green means you're completely safe. Yellow means you might be seen, and red means they will see you if they look in your direction. An enemy's chance of detecting you is directly tied to your sneaking feature. If you're detected, your enemies will often say as much and come to investigate. <laughs> that crouching. Let's see. I forgot where you said to go. I kind of wasn't paying it. Oh, look at that. There's some rats. Ooh, I did not mean to. Oh. Well, shit. You killed that rat pretty quickly. 
he became a magical rat. Let's see. That's either screaming or... Hold up. Maybe he meant to say to go this way. He said double doors, so... Ayo. Nope. I really should pay attention when people talk to me. Ah, crap. I really need to stop hitting left click, I guess. Can I do a stealth kill? I would love to do a stealth kill. You've been detective, try again, remember to crouch by. Aw, oh, man. That sucks. I wanted a self kill. <laughs> Let's see. I forget where I'm supposed to go. Am I supposed to go this way or that way? How long is he gonna stay there? Cause he moved earlier, but he didn't. Oh, I guess that's when I got hit. Oh, fuck. He's gone from yellow to red. Oh wait, no, it's just saying like, he could see me. Just don't look this way. All right. Cuckoo. Oh, oh shit. Now you're my friend. Never mind. <laughs> That's pretty green. How can that be? Yeah, he's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that in shock treats, cannon fodder, put him out of his misery. I'll do my best. Vampire, so be ready. I was born ready. Let's see, to engage in unarmed combat, you need to equip your fists. To equip your fists. Ah, my fists are always equipped, apparently. I'm always punching people. I think I get the gist on how to punch. I did good. Let's see. Got it. You just picked up the item to quit this weapon. Press F1 until the tire art kind of highlighted in your melee weapon. For ranged weapons, there are numbers indicating your current or ammunition. So. There we go. Now I got it. All right. I'll just, you know, I guess beat the shit out of people. Hold up. Well, if it's like first person. Let's go when you're in the position to perform a stealth kill, you'll see this. Stealth kills have advantage of being completely silent. To perform a stealth kill, equip your fist or melee weapon and crouch and sneak up behind your victim until you see the stealth icon and then press the E button. <laughs> press. Ah, oh, there it 
this. I snapped his neck. That was easy. A little more than very great, just my look. Mm, you know what I said, more than very Um, Do I have my... Oh, it failed. I'll put below... Oh. Okay, hold up. Maybe I can just whack it. Did that work? <laughs> no. Uh, damn. I don't think I'm able to. Just keep doing it till you level up. Just kidding. I just need to go somewhere else because this ain't working. No, well, that ain't working either. Can I push this? There's a door right here. What if I hit this box? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Um. Shit, I didn't pay attention. What did you want me to do? <laughs> Go on ahead. Speed it down. I can't. It won't let me. Disciplines are your vampiric prior powers. This icon indicates the discipline you currently have selected. There are two. Passive and targeted passive disciplines directly affect you and target disciplines directly affect your enemy cell disciplines cost a certain amount of blood from your blood pool to activate. Blood buff is a discipline that is common to all vampires. It gives you a temporary bonus to all your physical attributes. It is useful in variety of situations like picking a lock that would otherwise be too difficult for you. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it said that and I just didn't read it. Oh, shit. Um. I should get stronger or I should be able to. I cannot lock flick this you lie to me <laughs> oh hold up I don't know how to turn this off <laughs> that ain't working either How do I turn this off? I don't know how to. Oh, hold up. There we go. I had to mess with my mouse. That makes sense. Or not that one. I thought they said blood buff helps with that. There we go. Oh, it won't open. Hold up, there we go. Shamir has three unique disciplines. Uh, vampiric blood magic. Second sight that allows you to see the auras of others. Dominate the ability to bend people to your will. Asapex gives you the ability to see people's auras. The aura color indicates an individual's disposition. Also, probably not even saying these words. Also increases your perception. Important to both the range combat inspection features. Use of Ossipex is not a masquerade by isolation. And this is the guard in the next room. Use Ossipex to see his words or the blah. Scroll the mouse wheel to... I've been doing that on accident. Oh, I wasn't ready. Hold up. Unfortunately, I don't know how to turn off. No need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. Come to an elevator around the way. Meet you there. Don't let them catch you. If I'm not in there in ten minutes, call the president. No problem. Let's see. 
the sorcery that can bend blood to powerful and terrible ends. So it's target of discipline. The fact that its length varies with each level of use is a best grade by selection. There are two cards in the next room. You have level two, known as Purge. Scroll to mouse wheel to select Purge. Place your cursor over one of the cards and right click to activate the discipline. Purge is an area of effect discipline. Both cards being fairly close together will become violent ill. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty gross. Can I feed on you? I probably can't because you're a vampire. Dominate is a vampire power to bend others to your will. Dominate is the target of the effect and its length varies with each level. Use to dominate is not a masquerade of isolation. Squad in the next room, use dominate to incapacitate on the alone level dominate known as a trance. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet, it put me. Oh, whoops. Oh, shit, I didn't, I should have read like what I was supposed to do because I thought I was supposed to beat him. Did I just leave? When you pick up an object and throw it, you'll see this huge icon. Press E. There's a Sabbath vampire in this room. Guarding the exit, crouch, find an object that you can pick up and throw it away from the guard to distract them. Once he's away from the exit, leave through the room and leave. Deuces, my guy. Do you have console commands active? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that, I guess. <laughs> I just started playing the game and it's just on whatever controls it's on, so I'm just learning it through that, so probably not. Useless against vampires. Well, yeah, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns, pal. Those things hit smart enough to hit. So I know a neat one that isn't cheaty. Uh I don't think I need anything that can help boost me if that's what it is. Or I I'm not, I guess I don't like if you want to put what it is, you can just put it down and I can read it and then I'll see if I'm interested. Oh, geez, that is long. <laughs> the console is disabled by default and only becomes available if the game is run with the dash console command line parameter. The most convenient way of running the game with this parameter is by setting up a shortcut that includes it. The process differs depending on the operating system and whether the game is launched through Steam. Recent versions of the unofficial patch automatically place their shortcut with a necessary parameter on the Windows desktop.
Like, I know mine's launched through Steam, because that's where I bought this game from with Steam. And then I got the most recent unofficial patch, but... You just been given a .38 revolver to equip the 38 point press F2 until the revolver icon is highlighted in your range weapon inventory list and then left click to fire left click again some weapons but not to have an alternate firing mode such an automatic fire press tap to toggle it that's pretty cool range combat a combination of perception and firearms is a feature that affects how well you shoot a gun when you a quick look on you'll see the range combat cursor it's spread and the speed at which it focuses a direct result of the value of your range combat feature there are some bottles on a crate at the end of the hall aim your cursor wait for it to fully focus and left click to fire the gun okay so i see a rat hey i'm just kidding there's a bottle okay well i guess it's already equipped Sweet, here we go. I think I missed. Ah. Oh. I don't have very good aim, apparently. Oh, that feels nice, though. It's hard to reload. Okay, cool, cool. Hmm. So I guess if I want to switch between toggling, that works too. I want to get on the elevator. I could practice shooting like this. Hold up. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm more of a third person person, so if you're like, why? I do play some first-person shooter games though, but I didn't really think I was gonna be doing first-person shooting stuff. Do I? Do I kill? Hold up. He's human, right? Ooh, I got a baseball bat. Hold up. Can I feed you? Oh yeah, this is definitely like blood rain. Thugs say ugh. Combat's not the only solution for sticky situations. You can also use your feats and disciplines and dialogue when you're able to do this. Your responses will show up in different colors and fonts that are indicated. This indicates a persuasion response. This indicates a seduction response. This indicates an in in intimidation response. I guess it's whatever mood I feel like. Fair enough. Let's see. The default value is 1 3 and is the maximum. However, this limit has been lifted in the unofficial patch. It does not. In fact, increase the amount of money you have. Oh. Well, that's all over. So this is normal. I'm already getting a headache. Let's see. I also wanted to play... Um, I don't know if it's like I know the reviews are mixed, but I think they've gotten more positive. Um, is I wanted to play Blood Hunt because that seemed kind of cool. While wow, I'm waiting, I guess for once. Well, I need to beat this game first, so that's kind of another reason why I'm playing it. But I can't wait till Bloodlines Two comes out because that looked really pretty, and I think it's supposed to be like you're in Seattle, and I'm like that makes sense because it's always rainy and dark there a lot, so. So this is normal, I'm already getting a headache. Let's see. Huh. Well, to be honest, we came at a, uh, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabat. Now, in LA, these are the new kids on the block, but there's already plenty of kindred at stakes down in California long before that. Now, we 
got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of twists. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of impunity. Hey, people are losing me here, Jack. Oh, but I'm gonna hang out with you more. He's so cool. Last round, yeah. Receive two experience points by pressing C. You can access your character sheet and spend your experience points where you see fit. Unspent will stay in your available experience pool. Cool. 